Hi and welcome to Canada's own gaming channel. My name is Joe, one of the founders of COG, usually going by Lone Wolf on Discord, Steam, Origin, etc. Today's video will be about NVIDIA's DSR, a brief description on what it does and how to set it up. So what is DSR? DSR stands for Dynamic Super Resolution, which is a feature found in all 900 series and newer graphics cards by NVIDIA. According to their website, Dynamic Super Resolution renders a game at a higher, more detailed resolution and intelligently shrinks the result back down to the resolution of your monitor, giving you a 4K graphics on a HD screen. Put simply, you get to try your hand at gaming at a higher than HD resolution without upgrading from a standard HD monitor. As a disclaimer, I have been using this and I will warn everyone, this isn't magic and nothing will actually compare to a WHD or 4K monitor, but it will at least get you more life out of an older 1080p. Also, as an added bonus, the graphics card does not need to work as hard to render the picture on a standard HD versus an actual 4K monitor, thereby giving you more frames per second if your card cannot handle 4K gaming. Keep in mind, it is more GPU taxing versus regular gaming. So how do you turn these features on? You find them in NVIDIA Control Panel, which is usually found in your system tray by right-clicking and selecting open NVIDIA control panel. In the control panel you go to manage 3D settings, global settings, and you turn it on and off in DSR factors. Now what are you actually doing? I have opened a fallout to show you the differences. In options and under resolutions you can see that my top selection at the moment is 1920 by 1080 which is the most you can get on a standard 1080p high definition monitor. With DSR it is tricking your computer into thinking your monitor is actually a 4K or variance higher definition screen thereby allowing you to set a higher resolution. You do this as an example if I go two times and four times and hit OK. Now after apply If I go back to Fallout, reset the settings, I now have 2715 by 1527 and 3840 by 2160 resolution options. This is traditional 4K settings. By selecting this and hitting OK, the game will now load up in 4K settings. The next thing you have to do is go back to the NVIDIA control panel and set your DSR smoothness. To explain this in a time sensitive manner, the graphics card, after shrinking down the higher than normal resolution to your current, your actual screen size, will blend or smooth issues created with this procedure. The smaller the number, your percentage, the sharper the edges of an image, but also the more likely you will see issues with the rendering, like tearing. The higher the number, the more blending there is, but also more blurring. Through my own experience, and given my current hardware, I find 20% is ideal for me. One thing to note, the higher you go in resolution, the more your computer has to work, and if it cannot keep up with the resolution you choose, you will notice the frames per second in applications start to dip. Now, this not only works inside games. The max resolution can now be set for Windows as well. By going to Display Settings, Going to Advanced Display Settings, you can now see that I have the two times and four times resolutions available for Windows. Given the scaling issue or the sizing with the text, I do not run Windows like this, but the options there if you choose. And that's it. That's how you get an almost 4K graphics on a standard HD monitor. There are always issues when doing this, and it will not work in all games. But for a lot of the major ones, I find it does. On their website, they give a complete list of supported applications. On a side note, it works very well for taking better than normal screenshots in games. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and please click subscribe. Suggestions or ideas, please email us. Emails found below, as well as our Discord channel and website. Thank you.